Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial for XFX Toolkit version 2 for Final Cut Pro 10. It's also a bit of an apology because we actually missed this one on the first time round. There were 10 tutorials, all went down well, but we missed this one very important feature which will help a lot. If you haven't tried the Final Cut Pro 10 plugins, then please follow the link below, there's a free trial. And now let's discover what we missed. I have three clips here on a 1080 timeline and the clips are 1080 as well so they're nice and they're 16 by 9 and everything works well because what I've done is I've actually applied the effect 57 to each of them and that shrink back quad so when I play you'll see that one goes to the bottom right, that one goes to the bottom left and that one goes to the top right. If we have a quick look in the inspector you'll see that says top right, I can change it to bottom right but for this example we'll stick with the top right. This was explained in the fifth tutorial uh, of using shrinkbacks on here. Now, what I want to do is I want to add a still to this and shrink the still back into this black hole. And I've got a picture, another New Zealand picture here, and I'm just going to drop that onto the timeline. Now, it's obviously not 16 by 9. So you think, OK, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow that up. Go over to the inspector and go to the scale push it off the edges so we don't get any anything seeping out from the sides here and I'm also going to probably just adjust it to have a bit more of the road okay that looks good and then I'm going to drop shrink back quad on there and oh hang on what's happened it's all going wrong it's shooting off to the left hand side and obviously not filling that black hole now we're a big fan of compound clips so let's just remove that and you think the easy way to do this is to make a compound clip. So I'll do exactly that, new compound clip. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. That looks like it's going to be good. So let's drop the effect shrink back quad on there. And we want it to go into the top left hand corner. And then, oh, hang on. What's happening here? That's not right either. OK, but we blew the thing up to go off the edges. Now, what's happening here is the compound clip is actually ignoring the media sizes and it's overlapping and I think this is actually possibly something wrong with compound clips because this compound clip is actually a 1920 by 1080 compound clip. So why is it sticking out all over here you ask? I don't really know but we need to fix that because you might have clients come in and they've got stills or video, vertical video even and you want to do a shrink back and you're going to find you're going to hit that problem. So what do we need to do? Now we need to look in the effects for the 120s, force fixed resolutions. And we kind of glossed over this a bit in the tutorial because it was the number 10, to be fair, and we'd made you know we'd made 10. Now what these effects do is actually fixes the resolution of clips. So as we're in a 1080 timeline. I need to find the 1080 fixed resolution. That's fairly easy to find because we put the icon in there. If I drop that on there, nothing happens. OK, what's going on here? Well, because the effects actually work in the order you stack them in, in the inspector. And as you can see, we've got shrink back quad happening before the fixed resolution. And if I push that up to there, look at that. We have the photo in absolutely pixel perfect position in the quad split and that goes for all the shrink backs we have um, in the toolkit it will work with any one of them and obviously you've got a UHD 720 and some SD fixed resolutions as well if you want to use now will the shrink back work that is the big question so let's hit play and yes we have a perfect shrink back from that media now you might say we want a bit more road on there so what do we do well, if you double click it, compound clip, you can actually adjust that. And let's say we're going to move that up a bit, have quite a lot of road in there and just go back to the original. And now you can see that's completely reflected in the shrink back move back. So that's a great way of using odd shape media on screen when you want to build up a composite of different images, especially using the shrink backs, because by using the force fix resolution plugins, it will actually make the media the size you want it so you can build up the composite that we have.
So I'm very sorry for forgetting about those plugins, and they are really good. I've used them myself, um, but they are in the pack under 120 in the effects, and I hope they're of use to you. And I'll see you on the next tutorial. Goodbye.